Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Little Wonder. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Shreya. Today we'll be meeting a new Little Wonder, and she dances and sings at the same time. And her name is Kripa. Let's go and say hi. <laughs> Hi Kripa! Hi! How are you today? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good too. Thank you for asking. So, do you like singing or dancing better? Um, well, I have a passion for both, so I can't really choose, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let's say dancing was your favourite. What music would accompany dance? The dance um, that you do? Um, well, if it's like classical dancing, then it's probably like a music in that genre. But if it's like semi-classical, then you can also like choose like cinema songs. How long have you been doing dancing? Um, I've been doing it for um, eight years. So since I was four years old with um, Thermandi and now I'm doing it with Sabish teacher. Huh. So, do you ever teach yourself or is it just dance class? Um, well, some like choreographies for like semi-classical I sometimes teach myself. Um, but classical mostly my teachers do. Since COVID, we haven't been able to, well you haven't been able to perform. So, what have you been doing during lockdown? Um, well, there's been online dance classes, so basically like practicing the steps to like get it perfect um, is mostly what I've been doing. Do you also take classes for like singing or is it a self-taught thing? Um, yeah, I also take classes with um, Jenny teacher. So I've been doing that for five years, so since I was seven years old. What typing singing do you do? Um, I do carnatic singing. So it's Indian style. Nice. Would you mind like showing us? Um, yeah, sure. I'll just do the um like what we normally do. Um Sadigama Padanisa Sani Da Padanisa. So yeah, that's probably like the first thing I learned in Carnatic music. That's really good. You have really con you have a really good control of your voice. Yeah, I've been um, cause like it's been a long time. I've been practicing a lot, so it helps. What do you think you need to work on? Um, probably like more controlling my voice and like improving in a lot of spaces for both dance and music. So yeah. <laughs> so how long have you been learning this Carnatic music for? Um. Five years, so since I was seven years old. Five years? Yeah. I hear that Dhat Varshis is very difficult. Can you say any Dhat Varshis? Um, I don't think I've learned that yet, but right now I'm going like not beginner, but like intermediate. So I haven't reached the like the pro level yet, but I'm <laughs> aiming to do that soon. You will, you will. Do you know any Geethams? Yes, um, we've been revising the rhythms in like the past month. So. Will you be able to perform some rhythms? Um, I don't have my book right now, but maybe <laughs> I might be able to do it soon. Sorry. That's okay. okay. Um, so back to your dancing ch subject. What is your like favorite step in general? Um, well, I'm doing others right now. So um, 
I really like I started off with um, Duck Dadaver and Nat Dadaver. So um, I don't really have a favorite, but because I'm going through the way, um, there's like I kind of like all of them because um, there's different like experiences. So I don't really have a favorite. <laughs> what do you believe makes a great dancer? Um, well, ex like expression and like having that perfection by practicing. That's it, I think. <laughs> and what do you think makes a great singer? Um, well, like you said before, having a great control of your voice. So like some songs can be really difficult, so like you should be able to do it really easily. Um, but that's what I think a good singer is. Do you also perform film music? Um, yes, for like stage shows. Um, but I don't learn that. I normally focus on Karnatic music. Do you also maybe play an instrument? Um, so before lockdown started, um, I was playing the violin, but because um, it, COVID came, it stopped. But I'm hoping that I can continue after lockdown finishes. So Kripa, what is the one thing good to happen to you since COVID? Um, well, like not only in studies, but like in all areas, like being more independent. So not having someone to always be there for me. So I've been able to like do a lot of stuff that before I couldn't do now. But that's one thing that I've really improved during lockdown. That's great. <laughs> So how are you feeling the freedom now because uh, we're out of lockdown? Um, yeah, like me and my friends are really excited that we can go to each other's houses now and I'm really glad so yeah I'm hoping that it will finish soon. Yeah, well now I'm going to ask you a riddle, okay? Yeah. And if you get this riddle correctly then you're going to get a really nice surprise. So I'll let Shreya say the riddle. Okay. So the riddle is, if there are three apples and you take two, how many apples do you have? Um, one. Mm, are you no. Sure? Um, can you please repeat that riddle? So there are three apples and you take two. So how many apples would you have? <laughs> It's a, it's a um, trick question, so. Is it three? Mm, are you sure? Um, I'm not sure. Um, can I have a clue, please? Okay, so the clue is don't always think about math because I'm thinking that you're thinking three minus two, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, so basically think of it as a riddle. So I'll say the question again. There are three apples and you take two. So how many would you have? Oh, uh, two. <laughs> Congratulations, that was quite a tricky one. You just won a gift factor from Studio M4. You should feel, feel proud. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We really love talking to you. Thank you. Okay. We loved your talent and I hope you um, achieve something in it. So we wish you the best of the luck and <laughs> goodbye. Bye. Bye. And if you want to have a special talent that you would also like to share to us and everybody else, then send in your applications to littlewondermfortv.com.au.